Hello everybody, um, this is something kind of new here, it's um, a Photoshop tutorial, but I thought I might as well try and connect with every kind of editor that I can, video editing, photo editing, you know, and graphic designers I guess, you know, um, this is more of like a thing you would use for like a website, um, kind of a frame. Um, um, I got another request asking me that when I begin a tutorial, could I please show the final product of what they're going to be creating. So if, if they don't like the outcome, they don't have to waste their time with watching this video. So, um, here's the first frame. It says XYZ Adelonix, basically says Adelonix. Um, and we're really focusing on the back part of it, um, this frame that I made. You'll notice it has this nice kind of border, and then you can color the inner part whatever you want. And I think it looks very nice. And then the next one I made was a circular one that says Recomp Live in the center. It has the same background again, and it looks really nice. Uh, the pink background was just because it seemed kind of like a decent color that I built to view things, because without that, the white doesn't show up and it looks fairly weird so we're gonna have this kind of magenta color there for now so I'm gonna teach you guys how to create that and I hope you guys enjoy so I'm gonna create a new layer and I'm going to use my rectangular marquee tool and under style you want to do fixed size and you're going to just choose something um, I'm gonna do two 20 by 64 and select it and hit enter and then re-click. Now, um, my final size is going to be those dimensions subtracted by 8. So, this right here will be um, 212 and this right here will be 6 or 5. Bleh, sorry, 556 or 56. Don't know why I can't talk right now. 56. Alright. So, if you want something to be a certain size, like in the center, you might want to think about that ahead of time because you have to think about the um, frame around it. So, the first thing we need your gradient tool and black and white. And since black is first, that means black will be on top. If I was to go like that, and we want to start with the lightest part first. So, click on the bottom of the marquee and then hit shift, drag it up to the top and that's the beginning of this is creating the frame so um... now subtract this by four hopefully i can do the math correct right two sixteen and sixty Hit enter and then click and now you have to line this all up so you might want to zoom in a bit that's centered alright that looks good and now you want to do black on top and the white on bottom giving you that nice frame effect and you can make your frame any color that you want so I don't want to limit anyone's creativity so again with the subtracting by four and then again with the centering this up it's not a very hard thing to do but it has a nice outcome I think this is the one you're creating right here. That's what you're creating right there. That way it's still centered. And now you can either do it. I'm um, sorry about that. Click this. You can either do that, and that would be your final outcome, then add text, or you can adjust the color and make it whatever you want now I'm doing this all on one layer um, it might have been a smart idea to do it on multiple layers but you could always jump now and then you would go under layer properties frame layer properties center color depending on how you guys like to keep yourself organized in Photoshop so under your gradient you can adjust the colors I did this kind of blue and 
kind of greenish for mine. Delete that. All right. Select OK, and you can do it one way. You don't really like that. You can do it another way. Get a little bit less though. Huh. Want a little bit more green in there, so I'm gonna move this green this way, and I'm gonna bump up the color a little bit, a little bit darker. And there we go. I kind of like how that looks. And that's how you create the rectangle. Now, the circular one's a bit more complicated, so I'll describe that. Now, you could have this right here as your final outcome, but I think it looks better changing the center up. So, I'll just quickly go over the clip, the uh, circular shape. Uh, again, I want my final one to be 80 by 80, so I'll make it 88 by 88, and then you guys know the drill, lightest on top, alright, 84, 84, again with the, the did that perfectly actually, that's pretty cool. Alright, and then that's the frame layer. 80 and 80. Oh, I almost had it perfect. That looks perfect, right? Nope, too high. Alright, there we go though. And then now you choose your final color. I did the um, last time I did this kind of. I kind of did the magenta color. I th think I did another, like a green maybe. Is that what I did? I don't even remember anymore. But we'll do green. Since I tend to like green a bit. And yeah, you can even add another point in here if you want. Watch. That blue will make it stand out a bit more. Oh, it has three colors to it. And then. That's what you have. And what you can then do, if you really, really want to make this look nice. Sorry about that. New layer. Ugh. On this layer right here, um, duplicate it. I think this is gonna work. Select inverse, delete, and then actually, on this one you delete, and then on this one you can. Lighten up the opacity. Oh, that'll make the magenta show through, though. There was no magenta. Kinda. I don't know. I'm just saying, mess with it. Like I say in all my tutorials, if you guys check those out, really, really mess around. Don't follow these tutorials word for word, or else you're gonna just get exactly what I created. So. Uh, I hope you guys really enjoyed this tutorial. Um, I had a fun time learning how to create these buttons and, and then make it into my own little project. So, hope everybody enjoys this tutorial. This is Zetalonic signing off.